Welcome to Little Discoveries. I'm Miss Karen, and over the next couple of months, we are discovering the four elements of nature. We already did air, and now we have fire, water, and earth. So this month, we're going to be discovering fire. Well, sort of. Don't worry, parents. All of our experiments are little safe. I have even included a few printables if you want to continue the discussion about fire safety. But we are going to try to learn just a little bit about fire through our book. What makes fire burn? Hmm. Let's find out. Make a wish. Have you ever watched someone light birthday candles? They might use matches or a lighter. Then fire seems to come from nowhere. The process of creating fire and burning is called combustion. Wow, that's a big word. Can you say combustion? Combustion, hmm. The power of three. In order for something to catch fire, three things are needed. The first one is easy to find because it's in the air around us. It's oxygen. Everyone take a deep breath. <gasps> oh, you can let it out. <laughs> Some of the, there are stuff in the air that we can't see. And one of them is oxygen. Fire needs heat to happen. Heat comes from the friction of a match being struck against a matchbox. Hmm. Okay, I have our first experiment for us today. I'm going to roll up my sleeves. For this one, all you need are your hands. Put them together and you're gonna rub them up and down like this. Now a little faster and a little faster and as fast as you can, woo! Did your hands get hot? Mine started to get hot. Don't worry, they will not catch on fire. When we do this, we are creating friction and that creates heat, but we're missing the last part of the three things that are used to make fire. Let's find out what that last one is. The final piece needed to make fire is fuel. Fuel is what is consumed or taken in by burning. Wood or coal are often burned. Oh, so we need oxygen, friction, and fuel. Combustion is a big part of our lives. A burning fire can keep us warm and give us light. Combustion is even a part of how light bulbs work. Wow. Once something catches fire, it can't be unburned. Be careful not to burn yourself or things around you. That's right, we never, ever, ever play with fire. But you know what we are going to experiment with? Those two things that fire gives us. Do you remember what they were? Light and heat. Let's get started with our first activity. You will need the bag that all your crafts came in the black piece of paper, a couple of markers, and your flashlight. Now, you can color yours like I did, if but you want to keep this part of it clear or white. Now, I know we have some little littles in this group, so you can fold it back or you can cut it off and tape it back together if you would like, if you're worried about this area getting colored. So we're going to keep the black paper in our bag. 
Now, depending on your little, either you can do this next part or you can let them. And we're gonna take our marker and we're gonna draw on it. You can scribble, you can write your name, you can draw a tree. I'm going to do a couple of shapes here. Do a triangle and a circle. Let's see, let's make a square over here and maybe a star there. Okay. Whoa, it's kind of hard to see it, isn't it? It's cool then that we have our handy dandy, oh, flashlight. Wow, look how bright it is with our flashlight. And this is a fun introduction to the dark and flashlights. Now, after, oh, and the really cool part of it is we can spray it, wipe it off. Oops, sorry. And do it all over again. After this, your little might be ready to play with a real flashlight in a dark room. This is a great chance to play a game of I Spy with things or colors or shapes. This can lead to a lot of fun play. We've done some discoveries with light. Now let's do some discoveries with heat. You all got a spoon in your kit. Then I'd like you to get a glass or a bowl of ice cold water and some warm water. It doesn't have to be hot, just at least a little bit warm. And we're gonna take our spoon and abracadabra, alakazam. <gasps> Whoa! Our spoon changed color. I wonder what will happen when we put it in the other. <gasps> Whoa! How cool is that? You can play with it with just your cup and bowl like this, or you can see what happens when you rub it with your hands, in between your hands, or try blowing your breath on it. Is your breath hot enough to change the spoon back? Have fun. I have a little bit of a bonus experiment for you guys to either look up or try with a lot of things that you probably have at the house. Did you know you can make your own thermometer? Go to YouTube and you can either look up a bottle thermometer or how to make a bottle thermometer PBS Kids and it'll lead to you to a great tutorial from PBS Kids about how to make one and it'll show you. I hope you had a lot of fun and learned about heat and light today. See you next time. Bye-bye.